all right friends so welcome to this third part of cluster fs series where we will create cluster fs and access from windows client so uh, just now i have set it up the nodes sun 1 and sun 2 it's first installed centos and i did not start any configuration yet so you can follow with me in, in beginning just uh, open terminal in both we will need this and just check first thing your host name okay so send to is having send to same here just want to make sure that there is no mistake that's why I'm doing this process okay the so next thing is check the IP So if config is the command and with that you can get the IP. So sun1 is having IP 7 perfect. Same here. And sun2 is having IP 6. In my case it works like that but in, in your uh, network this IP address might be different. But the important part is you set it up your host name properly and you must have a static IP in your system and if you are using multiple NIC then you must have bonding uh, NIC bonding in your system and use the IP address of that bonding okay I'm not covering the bonding process yet in this video maybe I will I will create a new video for that so now let's move forward with our cluster setting just clear this so since this is the fresh installed uh, operating system so the first thing you have to do is install uh, all the updates from CentOS so for that you can use yum update I just updated my system because uh, it's take a lot of time so uh, to install so I, I did not show that but uh, you can first thing is yum update and this will go through all the packages and let you know if anything update so in my system everything is updated so make sure you also update your nodes and this apply for all the nodes in your network uh, for whichever you are planning to use in your cluster nodes Okay, one more important thing is I just created two files, uh, sh uh, bash files that actually we can use to automate this process. I'm not going to execute that, so then we will miss a lot of important points in this script. But you can find out this script. I will I will add the, uh, the link uh, in my description or I will just copy this because this is just commands in a, in a, in a proper order. That's it. So the first thing is like we, we go through updates. And yes, so this configuration is for Sun 1 and this is for Sun 2. Because some commands we don't want to execute on all the nodes. Any one node if you execute it will work fine. So uh, let's first finish the, the, uh, the required packages first. And now I need EPEL release. And why I need? Because I need this gparted application. And why we need this gparted application because I found this is very uh, uh, good application where you can format your disk in in CentOS machine okay and remember we did not uh, create the partition of our disk if I if I see the disk here so here it will show we created uh, uh, file system partition and swap and there is a free space of 20 GB the same here also like if you go to system system tools no utility disk and we have 20 GB of free space and that is in our CDA and it's, it's in CDA so now we want to create a file system of this so in, in general term like if you want to format that okay and if you if you format through this uh, inbuilt utility and if you say this plus icon you will not found the XFS 
so we want to build a xfs file system and definitely there is a command also so like you can make file system make fs uh, xfs but it's better to see in a visual tool so you are not making any mistake with your uh, hard disk uh, and and your partitions of your of your storage so for that we go with a another advanced tool which is actually showing this but in a very comfortable manner so let's install that so if if you want to install gparted you have to install epel release first so just copy and paste this will install the same thing apply here and we only need this to actually create the partition gparted and after that there there is there is nothing to do with the cluster fs setting with the gparted app this is my personal preference you you might use some other tools which is available or you can use simple fdisk or whatever but uh, i'm not familiar with that so i i will go with this gparted and it's quite very small package but it's okay yeah gparted very fine complete perfect now you go to application system tools you see gparted and it will ask for the root password because this is going to access your drives and here you see this unallocated space it's showing there so what you can do you can right click and create new and don't touch anything just go to the file system and you can see here xfs and put a label i'm, I'm putting a label like uh, tank so with that we can we can see that okay this is our label okay so add and you see this green right just click yes and hit apply and it's applying changes all completed successfully then close and now we have a xfs file system on dev sda3 you remember this is very important when we configure our cluster volume so if you see in our settings in in future we we gonna use this uh, sda data volume Well, I'll, I'll, I'll show you where we're gonna okay yeah here so when we we gonna mount this into our, our system that time we're gonna use this so this number remember in in your case this this partition type uh, partition and the label can be your choice and whatever available number but you follow with that so so whatever you you want to add uh, whatever is required to edit i'm just i'm just putting this edit this so in this you have to edit uh, this uh, dev sdm so we will just follow the same in our send to and all the nodes where you have and you want to uh, create the bluster partition so go to system tool g parted root permission authenticate and it will, it will see, you see the unallocated space create new file system xfs and label tank this label you can put as per your preferences hit right apply and it's applying the changes close and we are done with our file system creation okay so now let's go to our script so we cover up to this part now go back to sun1 and I, I will configure most of the master settings through sun1 and uh, and the general settings in all nodes okay so next thing is we want to add the host entry into our system so why we need a host entry because uh let's say if we want to ping to sun1 sun2 oh sorry 
sun to so it will it will not because it is looking for the it, yes it is in the same network but just time sometime it is actually uh, fail to actually look for this uh, this IP address into our network so to make sure uh, there is no mistake we can actually put a host entry into our host file so let's see our host file first etc hosts and in etc host in etc host just add these lines and these ip addresses are can be your uh, can be your your pc nodes ip addresses so just to just want to make sure that everything is stable i will add these uh, nodes into our host file let's see uh, the host entries are entered properly so sun1 is 7 and sun2 is 6 okay the same thing i apply here okay because if you if you follow the sun2 sun up to now sun2 is also following the same now go back to sun1 now we will make a directory for our to mount our cluster volume and that we have to do in in our both node so we just created a directory and if you want to see the directory in my computer we created a directory called cluster and you see this cluster volume here now we need to mount this cluster in the startup so every time when we start our system this this should be al always mount and if you see the system tool system monitor in the file system there must be a another device which is which must be there then only your cluster will start so now let's add this and if you go to the system tools again system monitor file system and now it's showing the directory cluster file type xfs so our free space which was unallocated before now it's mounted in uh, in our cluster folder so the same thing you should apply into the another node okay so here also if you see the system tool system monitor we have our cluster directory here now we have to stop the firewall because there are some ports which we have to allow and there are some services which we have to allow and uh, we will we will configure that later but to set up uh, make sure everything is working i'm gonna disable and stop the firewall so make sure you stop the firewall from all pcs so there is no firewall blockage to uh, communicate between the nodes okay so uh, the next thing is we gonna install the cluster packages which is you can find out uh, I'm using cluster 310 and that is the actually stable version uh, at this moment actually uh, uh, there are 314 or 313 released but uh, I'm, I'm gonna use this because I would like to go with a stable version and also you can check in the website maybe uh, there is some new newer version newer stable version you can go along with that so what we need but first we need this this is a repo actually if if you if you install this then only you can find these two these two packages so first we install the repo and cluster packages just paste that and this also we have to install in both uh, nodes in my case both in your case maybe you can install in uh, whatever nodes available in your your uh, your network that you want to add into cluster fs so with that we just install all the cluster fs libraries which is required to install oh, okay cluster fs server is also not executed so so far everything good following with me up to this point right so as you can see in in sun 2 also it's following this
okay so now we're done with all the packages and in next video we will start with how to set it up the cluster fs okay so follow me in next video